Yo, 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 what's up, what's up? What's going on, what's going on? Welcome to Bulletproof Mindset, episode 27. 27, and here we are talking about the things that you don't know, but need to know about mentorship. The things that you don't know, but need to know about mentorship. Let me know if you're watching this live or... If you're watching it replay, let me know. Welcome to the live. What's going on? What's going on? Welcome to the live. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. Uh, it's Bulletproof Mindset, Jake Parton. Go on there. All my videos are on there since the very start of my journey. Uh, and it's some, it's, some, it's some good stuff. It's some good stuff. And also, we've got a Facebook group as well. I'll post a link to that in the Facebook uh, comments. If you haven't got me on Facebook, add me up. The link's in my bio on Instagram. All right. So, and also what you want to do is, well, I want you to share this video. I want you to share this video with someone who doesn't understand the importance of mentorship. All right. If you take some value from it. Yep. So let me know. USA, Texas. Okay. What's going on? What's going on? Amazing. 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 Cool. <clears throat> So what the, the one thing I will say about mentors is mentorship is that content, content is good, contact is great. So content is good, contact, con contact is great. Content is good, but contact is better. Really think about it. What's better? What, what would you prefer to do? Read, uh, read Michael Jordan's book or meet Michael Jordan? What would you rather do? you know, uh, read Bob Proctor's book or be mentored by, by Bob Proctor. You know, there's, there's a difference and there's a, and it's a, it's a very big difference. Like Bob says, 2% think, 3% think they think, and 95% of people would rather die than think. So what he means by that is too many people are asking the right questions to the wrong people. Too many people are asking the right questions to the right people. One of the first things I said to my mentor was that, you know, I wanted to write a book. I wanted to write a book. And, and, <laughs> and he was like, okay, cool. I I'm what, bro? I was like, success, you know, success, mindset. And he was like, well, I, I, I mean this in the nicest way possible, Jack, but where's the success? Where's the where's the results? There's, there's too many life coaches that need life coaches. There's too many personal trainers that need personal trainers. So you want to get results and then you can qualify for being a mentor because you cannot teach someone something which you don't know. You can't teach someone something which you haven't done. Really think about it really think about it so <clears throat> your results in life are a direct ratio to your teach ability index so these are the questions that you need to be asking yourself these are the questions that you need to be asking yourself you need to ask yourself so that the teachability the, the teachability inde index is based upon the willingness to learn willingness to learn times willingness to accept change willingness to learn times by willingness to accept change and you need to ask yourself how where is my teachability index because that's direct ratio to the speed in which you're going to attract the results into your life okay because there's a lot of people willing to learn but not many willing to change i've talked about um i just said a team call was talking about how uh <laughs> the 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 charmander turns the Char charmeleon and charmeleon turns into into charizard Squirtle, Wartortle, Blastoise. Too many people quit when they're Squirtle because they don't. They're not taking advice from from a Blastoise. That they're not. They're not taking. That they don't. They don't understand the process of change. They want to stay the same. They want to stay a caterpillar but fly like a butterfly. There's too many people that want to stay like a caterpillar but also want to fly like a butterfly. It's not going to happen. You're going to need to become a new person, a different person, a new and improved you, for you to have what it is that you want. A lot of people want the prize, but are not willing to put to pay the price. I need to understand that wise people, smart people learn from their mistakes. Wise people learn, learn from mentors. Why is that? Why is that? Because mentors have already been down the path you're about to go through, right? And they can teach you what to do, what not to do, based on actual real results and experience. So mentorship is so, so important. Listen, Kobe Bryant had Michael Jordan. Drake had Lil Wayne. Uh, 
Napoleon Hill at Andrew Carnegie. Earl Nightingale had Napoleon Hill. Bob Proctor had Earl Nightingale. So many, there's so many different. Steve Jobs mentored, uh, who was it? Mark Zuckerberg. There's so many, like, if you trace someone who's successful, I'll tell you someone who's who's, who's had mentorship from, or a coach, a coach. A coach is another way, another word for mentor. What's going on, David? Chanel, what's up? What's up? Cool. So, so I've, I've mentioned content is good. Contact is great. Uh, if you want to do something, go to people who, who have already done it or are on the way. What do I mean by that? Nick, what's going on, bro? If you want to get good at basketball, why would you go and hang around footballers? If you want to get good at basketball, it makes sense to go and hang around people that are good at basketball. You know, Bob says, if you want to get good at golf, quit golfing with your friends, especially if your friends aren't in the position you want to be in when it comes to golf. That's only if you want to get good at it, though. Okay. So it makes sense to surround yourself with people that are already doing what it is that you're doing. Okay. So your mentor, you, oh, you is your mentor. Who is your, who is your mentor listening to? This is another one as well. So not just looking at the person that you're listening to, who are they listening to? Who are they listening to? That's really the key, um, especially with the industry which I'm in, uh, because there's like leaders, sub leaders, there's mentors, sub mentors. I want to know who they're listening to. I want to know who they're listening to. So that's really the key as well. This is the, the number one basic to, to progress. The number one basic to getting fast results in your life is whoever's got your ears got your life. This includes the people that you eat with. This includes the this, this includes the people that you talk to on the phone every single day. Mom, dad, like friends. They all they are all impacting. There's two types of people. You want to write this down if you're taking notes. There's two types of people. People that are pulling you towards your goals, or people that are pulling you away from your goals. People that are pulling you towards your goals, or people that are pulling you away from your goals. That's it. Black and white. That's it. Yes, no, on, off. People that are pulling you away, people that are pulling you towards, people that are inspiring or expiring. So you need to be around those individuals. Okay. Um, whoever has your ear has your life. Whoever has your ear has your ear has your life. Attitude as well, by the way. Attitude determines your success as well, as we can all agree, right? Attitude. Attitude is is caught. Attitude is caught rather than taught. Attitude is actually something that you catch rather than rather than you that, that than you learn. You catch what you are close to. You catch what you are close to. If you're if you're a negative Nancy, guess what? You're gonna attract more sour Steve. If you hang around the sour Steve, you're gonna become a negative Nancy. If you hang around people that gossip, hate on people, you're gonna catch that. It's like a virus. It's like a virus. Mentors can't change your circumstances. Mentors can change your perception. Your perception will then change your circumstances. That's so big. That is so big. Wow. <laughs> wow. Catch new thoughts. You'll catch new things. This is, it's a thought game. We're, we're playing a game of thinking right now. That's how, that, that's how it is. Show me your mentor. I'll show you your future. Show me your friends. I'll show you your future. Right? A hundred people who die today, one is wealthy, four are financially independent, 15 have a few thousand saved, 80% are broke, broke. And the reason for that is they don't set goals. Goal, goal stands for go out and live. I'm sure I mentioned this in every single live that I do. Your goal determines who you listen to. Oh, well, I'm one of those people where I just, I don't, I don't really set goals. Okay, cool. So you're just going with the flow. Then you're listening to everyone right now. If you don't believe in something, you're going to fall for anything. If you don't believe in something, you're going to fall for anything. Your goal determines who you listen to. If you have a goal to reach a certain level of income, why does it why does it make sense, yeah, to listen to someone when it comes to that goal who hasn't got those results? Let's just think about it, man. I just said on a call, success is common sense. What do you mean? Well, we all know for a fact that if we smoke, it's bad for us. If we drink, it's bad for us. If we eat healthy, it's good for us. If we train every day, it's good for us. If we if we invest money instead of spend money, it's good for us. If we get a mentor, it's good for us. Why don't we do it? Why don't we do it? Because common sense is the least common of all senses. We are programmed right now. Like I said on the last one, you're either being con you're either controlled or you're in control. What thoughts are around you? Your environment is shaping your reality. What thoughts are around you? 
What thoughts have you got actually around you? Who's around you right now? Their thoughts are going into your psyche, your, your BS, your belief system, your paradigm. Their thoughts, thoughts. I've just said on a call, you're connected to everything. Winners, winners in life are connected to everything, attached to nothing. Are connected to everyone, attached to no one. What happens when you get attached to someone? You give them power. They're in control, not you. How teachable are you? Ask yourself this question. Where's your teachability index? Who are you listening to when it comes to success? Who are you listening to when it comes to whatever it is that you want to do? Mindset, home-based business, uh, better shape. I don't know what it is. This is purely to add value to your life right now because if you haven't got a goal that you're currently striving towards, then you can listen to anyone. Just, just Karen, just, just listen to anyone and everyone when it comes to your life. And, and you're like this, you're getting, you're getting pulled left, right, and center, you're getting pulled left, right, and center. And then you're going to end up where someone else wants you to be. Because you're either living your life or someone else's life. Everyone on this live, everyone on these, both on Facebook now and Instagram, is definitely 100% living a dream. 100 Fact, you are living a dream, but is it your dream? That's what I'm saying. Is it your dream? Is it your dream, man? Success is outside of your comfort zone. I care more about everyone's futures rather than their feelings on this call. I, I care more about your future rather than your feelings. Success is outside of your comfort zone. I don't know about you, but I'd rather I'd rather be uncomfortable for three, four years building my goals and dreams than uncomfortable. Same uncomfortable. Look, I'm uncomfortable building my goal. I'm uncomfortable building my goals and dreams. Yeah, uncomfortable. But at the same time, I'm uncomfortable working for forty years for someone else. It's just choosing. It's just choosing which is where. Don't want to be, you know, going forward or only stagnant because either way is uncomfortable. So lower your ego and you'll raise your results. Adrian, when I lowered my ego, I raised my results. Every day you got to work on lowering your ego and raising your results. How, how, you know, it's that word humility. Have I got humility today? Am I going to put my ego to the side and rise? Am I going to do that? Cool. Mentorship, it's important. Who, who, who are you listening to, man? Who are you listening to? So I hope this has helped. Very quick one. Bulletproof Mindset, episode 27. We're going to keep going every single week. It's for you. It's, we're in crazy momentum right now. I'm just about to do another call. And we're talking about two sides of success. Let's get it. All right. I love you all. Peace. See you on Facebook.